What's up guys, it's Ronnie here from Lake Acre Scooter Marina and this is the video that a lot of you guys specifically asked for in our recent video where we did the fin testing. A lot of you guys said I should have added the, the jet fins in there so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I actually got a lot of great comments. I got some rude comments but a lot of educational comments I guess you could call them. Um, I made a comment in that video about, or in the comment section about the Marius Power Plane kind of being the equivalent to say the Scuba Pro Jet Fin. Um, I need to give you a little bit of history about myself. Guys, I've been diving since 1988. These are my personal set of Scuba Pro Jet Fins. I used to dive these back in the day. Um, I know a lot of you guys think I'm very biased towards Marius, and I am. I'm a Marius dealer. That's all I use pretty much today. Uh, but even with that being said, I have nothing against any other gear manufacturer out there. I've used it all. Out of all the dive shops that I've worked for, I have sold every major brand of gear on the market today, including the Scuba Pro Jet Fins, and I've used them for many, many years. However, you guys seem to want to see a comparison video between the Marius Power Plana and the Scuba Pro Jet Fins and see which one is actually the best. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, for me to say one is better than the other is going to be biased based off what I like. So instead of saying one's the best, we're going to see which one is more efficient in another fin showdown. We're going to be doing two different kick patterns today. We're going to be doing the flutter kick. We're also going to be doing the frog kick. And we're going to see how long it takes me to get from one end of the pool to the next, or basically how many kick cycles it takes. Now we're going to be doing that once again with the flutter kick and the frog kick. And then to take it one step further, we're going to be doing some back finning techniques and some helicopter turns. And we're going to see which fin is more responsive than the other one. Once again, I can't tell you which one's gonna be the best fin other than what's gonna be the best for me. You're gonna to have to make the decision for yourself which one's better for you, but I can show you the most efficient fin that works for me tonight in the pool. So jump on in with me here and let's do this test and then I'll give you some final thoughts at the end of this. All right guys, starting out with the Scuba Pro Jet Fins. These are by far one of the most powerful fins on the market out there. Um, they are a very stiff base fin, so they are gonna move a lot of water. However, if you're gonna be flutter kicking with these fins, you're gonna need a lot of leg strength. Um, though I have used these in the past, they absolutely kill my legs if I'm flutter kicking for a great distance or over say a, a lengthy period of time. Uh, one thing that I didn't like about them is even though they were very responsive, they didn't have much recoil. So resetting that kick each time was kind of a, a pain as far as the flutter kick goes. Now as we switch over to the frog kick, uh, this is kind of a staple for these fins. That's what they were really designed for in my opinion. Um, very, very powerful fin. I was moving quite a bit of distance per kick. Um, and this is great because when you frog kick, you have a built-in resting phase. And that allows you to uh, allow your legs to rest while your body is still or still has that forward momentum. And as you can see, as soon as I extend the legs out and I start to glide there, I'm probably moving about 10 feet per kick um, before I have to reset that kick and, and go through another kick cycle. But a very, very powerful fin uh, for frog kicking as well. As far as the flutter kick goes, probably not going to be the absolute best choice out there. But for frog kick, definitely a good, powerful, solid fin. Moving over to the Marius Power Planas. Now the Power Planas equally based in my opinion with the Scuba Pro Jet Fins as far as flutter kicking. It's a good chunk of rubber that you're wearing on your feet so it is going to cause some leg fatigue uh, over a great distance. However, these fins just like the Jet Fins are very responsive. They have a little bit better recoil and that's simply because of the way the fin is designed there in the middle. There's a little bit thinner material in the middle of the blade versus what's on the sidewall of the blade so that's going to allow that water to be channeled through the center and instead of creating uh, any type of water deflection that channel flow technology is actually going to help you propel yourself by making sure all the water is being pushed behind you increasing your propulsion now if we look at the frog kick once again it's pretty equally based it's a very powerful kick I'm probably moving a grand total of let's say seven to ten feet per kick uh, with each 
cycle of the frog kick. Once again, when we look at kicks, and I'll show you this in the classroom too, when we look at kicks, we need to think about every place we're pushing water. And with the channel flow technology, even during the frog kick, these fins are allowing every bit of water to go behind me. And I don't really have that problem of the two fins pushing water into each other. They're actually channeling the water together and then pushing it directly behind me. So another powerful fin for frog kicking in itself. Maybe not the best for flutter kicking, but definitely frog kicking. Now looking at reverse kick, switching back over to the Scuba Pro jet fins, once again, a very, very powerful fin. They have thick sidewalls, uh, going to be great for reverse kicking as well. And I'm going a very short distance here, but typically you're not going to be going a very long distance when you uh, do a reverse kick. So I, I think these fins are, are excellent for reverse kicking as well. They're solid, they're stiff, and they work really good. Switching over to a, just a quick helicopter turn here, they're a very, very um, responsive fin that allow me to uh, really dial in that kick. As you can see, not only am I hovering there, I'm staying in one spot. I'm going in a 360 circle, but I'm still in one spot. My body's not really moving. So the the jet fins are definitely a great fin for that. Looking at the power planers, once again, they're equally based. They're definitely going to be a powerful uh, fin as far as reverse kick or back finning. Uh, they got thick sidewalls, there, so they're going to help you move quite a bit of water uh, so that you can actually move a great distance when you're back finning. Even though that uh, kick is not designed for that, it is going to allow you to do that. Same thing on the helicopter turn. As you can see, I'm actually staying in one spot. I'm not bouncing all over the place. So it's a very, very responsive fin um, for that as well. And, you know, it's all about the finning technique, in my opinion, more so than the actual fin itself. All right, guys, so we tallied up the results, and here's what we come up with. Using the Scuba Pro jet fins and using a flutter kick, to be able to swim 25 yards or 75 feet, it took me actually 17 kick cycles. Now the good news is this was pretty equally based across the board with the power planers from Mares. They too took 17 kick cycles to go from one end of the pool to the next. Now if we look at the frog kick, the jet fin actually outdone the Mares, and so Scuba Pro come on top at that point. It only took me 11 kick cycles versus taking 12 kick cycles through the Mares power planers, but they're still equally based. It's only one kick cycle away. Now, when we look at the reverse kick, we were going a very, very short distance. We were probably only going about 25 feet, but that 25 foot distance, each fin was equally as powerful as going that distance in a reverse kick. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk about. If we look at the Scuba Pro jet fin, the way this fin is designed to work, let's start with the flutter kick alone. As you are kicking, you are basically deflecting water out of your way. And what that does is allow you to prepare yourself forward. Well, there's going to be a lot of drag. And sometimes you'll hear it called parasitic vortices. I know Marius has another fin that kind of is designed around preventing parasitic vortices. And basically, that's what these little jets do. As the water is going, basically, as you're pushing on the water like this, that water is going through those jets, which in theory kind of helps the propulsion technique. However, I don't believe that it helps it quite as much as what the channel technology that Mares has built into their fins. They are both heavy duty paddle style fins, if you will, and they move a lot of water. But if we look at the technology built into the power plane and how it kind of creates this channel here, think of it like this. If you've got a water hose and you squirt somebody with it, all they have to do is just step out of that stream of the water. But as most kids do, we take our thumb and we put it over the end of that hose. We create dif differential pressure and we increase the outflow coming out or the pressure. And that's basically what this fin does. It's increasing that pressure. So instead of trying to prevent that parasitic vortice or whatnot and getting that water to go through to actually ease the kick up we can actually utilize that water to increase output and the way we do that is with the same thick fin as the scuba pro jet fin however we put a little bit thinner material a rubber if you will here in the middle and that allows that channel flow technology so I'm really going to chuck it up for the power plane that's on the flutter kick. I believe that technology, even though they were equally based as far as kicks, I like this technology a little bit better, so I'm going to actually give it to them. Now let's talk a little bit about the frog kick. When we look at the frog kick, 
any thick walled fin is going to be great for frog kick. It's going to give you uh, a good sturdy fin as far as the kick itself goes. And the Scuba Pro Jet Fin, by all means, did outdo the Mario's power plane as far as me kicking it. Um, and I like the big thick sidewalls on here because it allows me to set that kick exactly where I need it. And since it's tapered all the way down, as most fins are, it allowed me to slice through the water, get that leg cocked just right, and then kick. But at the same time, when we frog kick, as we're slicing through the water like this, we turn our heels towards each other and then we're kind of kicking like this. The fins in themselves are still acting as if it was a flutter kick. So as I'm kicking in the flutter kick, I'm pushing water behind me. Well, it's no different here. As I turn my heels towards each other and I push that water, I'm almost pushing that water directly into the other fin versus pushing that water behind me. So if I frog kick with this, as I slice through the water and turn my heels with a little bit thinner um, mold here, if you will, it's gonna allow that fin to flex so that all the water goes behind me versus coming in to the other fin. And that's one of the things that I really like about it. Yes, I'll, I'll admit, Scuba Pro did outdo Mario's as far as the frog kick and as far as the way I kick using the frog kick but I still like the technology that is built into the power plana versus the jet fin. Now, if we look at the reverse kick real quick, they were equally based, um, and it's all gonna be in how you kick, what makes you feel comfortable, what fins fit you the best, which comes to my last uh, part of this. If we look at the foot pockets of these two fins, and I'll start with the Scuba Pro jet fin again. The foot pocket itself is almost square, and yes, they come in several different sizes. Obviously, you want to make sure you get the right size for whatever type of boot you're wearing, but it's almost a square shape completely. If we look at the Marius Power Plana here, one thing that I really like about it, it's a little bit more ovaled up top, so it fits my foot and it fits my boot a little bit better than what the jet fin itself does. Now, once again, I'm going to restate what I did in my previous video that I truly believe these fins are equals. I believe this was Mario's the solution to the Scuba Pro jet fin. Now, as far as jet fins go, I know they've been around for many, many years, guys. Like I said, these are my personal set of Scuba Pro jet fins. I've had them for many, many years. Even before that, I had a set of IST jet fins that I still own today. Even before that, I started with a set of decor jet fins. So they're not nothing new to me. It's not something that I'm 100% against because guys, I've used them for many, many, many years. It's just, I like the newer technologies that are building the fins. I like the rubber of the Mario's Power Plana. I like the response of the Power Plana a little bit better than I do the Scuba Pro Jet Fins. But once again, guys, that's just my personal bias, my personal opinion in the matter. You have to decide what works best for you. I encourage you to get you a set of fins, get out there and go dive with it. If they don't work for you, sell them. Buy a new set of fins, get out there and go dive. Try not to be influenced by me or anyone else here on YouTube or anyone else in a, a scuba board uh, forum or even your local dive instructor. Get out there and use the fins that make you feel the most comfortable and what's going to be the most responsive and most practical for you to use. Because I really enjoyed making this video. I know a lot of guys wanted me to make it. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, jet fin fans out there, and I used to be a huge jet fin fan. Like I said, I own three personal sets. Uh, I don't use them anymore, and it's strictly because I am a Mares dealer, and that's what I'm going to wear. But I do like the technology that's built into these fins today. Um, but I will end with this. No matter what you use, I want you to be safe and I want it to be practical for the style of diving that you're gonna be doing. And as long as you do those two things, you're gonna be fine. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more comparison videos like this, drop me a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see compared. If it's something that I don't carry in stock or something I don't personally own, all I'm gonna ask is, hey, send me your fins, I'll test them out. Send me your BC, I'll test it out, and I'll, of course, send it back to you guys. I'll definitely give you a shout out for sending it in to me if that's something you want me to do as well. But guys, if you like this video, smash that like button, definitely share it for me. And as always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. 
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.